oh yeah, that's a kind of um, perhaps more interesting. How do we see the um, ES pulling back and gold pulling back and DXY pumping and that affecting Bitcoin? Uh, I, I, I'm interested to hear your opinion first, Victor, and then I'll give my opinion. <laughs> well, to be honest, um, I don't feel like the correlation has been as strong as in other times. Usually when you see the dollar strong, gold dumping, uh, SPX dumping, then it's tough for Bitcoin to just go crazy and rally up and go up in price on its own. Like that's not the way it has been in the past. The best settings for Bitcoin to be strong were, you know, if we class it as one of the riskiest assets out there, or for everything else to be peachy. Yeah, usually... Uh, S, um, ES or SPX doing really well without, uh, you know, very, it is bullish still, but, um, you know, showing strength, uh, gold also doing well. Sometimes uh, we've observed Bitcoin and gold kind of move together, mostly though SPX and Bitcoin, then the correlation can just like that disappear again. And usually if the dollar is strong, it's not so good for Bitcoin either. But to be honest, I haven't seen that uh, strong correlation anymore lately. That's uh, my personal feeling about that. Um, so I don't know how much weight you can put onto that. Um, but still, I guess the overall context would be if uh, all market or other markets, bigger markets are bearish in that sense, um, can a very risky asset really do well? It's, uh, it's possible. But how probable is it? I don't know. It's a bit tougher, I suppose. But that would be my my interpretation of that. It's mm. it's an extra factor to look at, but it should not determine all your trades because in the end, you still have the Bitcoin chart to trade off with very definite, uh, uh, with a very very nice range. We're just repeating the January history again, mostly. Um, so I think the best bet is to stick to that range for now because that's uh, really great and it can give you the best opportunities to trade and don't pay too much attention to all the noise around it i would say yeah no i, I think <laughs> i think it's personally pretty funny that um oh mate um yeah this week has been really funny because uh so many people have turned really bearish on the stock market uh obviously des is pulling back a little bit uh, and lots lot, so, I mean, it's crazy, like, um, I don't know have you subscribed to any journals and, uh, like, the Financial Times and all this, but, like, a lot of people have turned really, really, really bad, like, um, yeah, I mean, like, the, you know, quote-unquote top analysis, and and so it's it's really, 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 really funny, because there, you know, loads of bearish articles are coming out, and uh, this drop obviously happened on the day of the FOMC, and... I uh, mate, it's it's. I just find it really funny. There, there are basically, so many people are really, really bearish on the stock market, and oh mate, I, I'm I'm just thinking, oh wow, this is not going to end well for the bears. I don't think, um, mate. The the thing is, it's just the people that try and short the stock market are just, oh. it's tough. <laughs> it's a tough life for the bears on the stock market. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I, I don't think it's going to end well for them. And I think people are getting bearish really, really, really early. Uh, like, yeah, if you're if you if you if you if you look at the 15 minute chart, you might think the life is over. But uh, yeah, zoom out to the weekly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is not really um, I don't know. Like loads of people are like, oh, my God, we've lost the uptrend line. Uh, the, the thing that I see everywhere uh, is this. And this is like everybody's freaking out. Because we lost this uptrend here. Yeah, we lost this uptrend here. And oh my, everyone's like, oh my god, we lost the uptrend line. This is incredibly bearish. Oh my god. Everyone's like, oh my god, we're going to have a recession. Uh, <laughs> like, literally, I'm not even like, I'm joking about it. But that's what people are saying. Like, we're going to have a recession because ES lost 150 points. It's like, okay, then... Um, yeah, I I think personally this is just gonna be a boot like a, a bear trap like it is every single drop that we have on the stock market. So not financial advice, <laughs> but for me this is just like a buying opportunity. Like every single drop in the stock market for me is a buying opportunity. So um, yeah, obviously my viewpoint of stocks is so different than crypto. 
So I don't really short the stock market and I'm just like, just view it as such a buying opportunity. But obviously I don't trade the ES really. Like I trade the individual stocks. So like if it drops, I'm going to buy more NVIDIA. Because <laughs> yeah. NVIDIA is going to $1,000 me. <laughs> but um, mate, like this just, it's just, oh, mate, it's crazy. Like, have you seen NVIDIA recently? Yeah, I guess you're yeah. tracking it now. Yeah, like this thing is just insane. And this is why I've made so much money on this. Because, like, look at that. It's just... Tracking it, loving it. <laughs> Mate, it's just, in... it's just insane. Um, right, when people say, like, what's the easiest thing to do money? Like, people don't think the stock market is easy to make money on. But the stock market is literally the easiest thing to make money on. Because all you do is buy it. <laughs> and it's just insane the amount of money that you make. Like, it's just absolutely insane when i sit down and think how much money i made on nvidia it's just like how is this possible like all i do is buy and it's just oh my god it's just crazy so yeah going back to it anyway not to get off topic like people that are really bearish on the es because we lost this trend line i don't know for me it just kind of makes me laugh like i i kind of just have to laugh because uh, could this be the top of the stock market yes of course but Oh man, it's just so early to say that we've put in a high and we're in a recession because we lost to one trend line. Like I think people are freaking out really bad. Um, yeah, for for me, I'm not like yeah, I don't know. I'm not freaking out. I'm viewing a buying opportunity. You know, uh, yeah. are we going to enter a recession? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like uh, I don't think so, and I don't think this is even going to be the top, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we want to at least see some support loss now. Uh, currently, this is still a higher low. So, yeah, I think the worst thing that you can do on the stock market is like looking at the 15-minute time frame all day. So, like the opposite of what I do on, on crypto, where I'm like always on the five-minute chart. Like on the stock market, you want to be on the daily chart. Because um, otherwise, yeah, you might get really bearish if you look at it like this. And maybe you freak out. But like when you zoom out, it's like, okay, man, like, even if it drops to like 4,000 points, it's, it's just, it's so, I don't know, like, I, I'm not, uh, it's must me, I'm not really bearish on it at the moment, but, um, yeah, I know a lot of people are, but I have to wait and see. Yeah, and a good I'm, point that you made, yeah, a good point that you made is also, um, just because X, SPX is pulling back doesn't mean that all the stocks have to be doing badly. I mean, mm -hmm. NVIDIA has been insane absolutely crazy so very nice profits to be had there mm. um even yeah other stocks um have not looked bad amazon was also pumping as everything else was kind of dropping so <laughs> yeah just yeah, that's because the thing obviously because we trade individual stocks it's like at the end of the day the the, the es and the s p 500 it's more than just the tech sector and um yeah, I, I mainly am trading tech sector primarily, but obviously a little bit outside of it. But um, yeah, this is the thing like, yeah, even if the ES is dropping, but my individual stocks are doing well, I'm not going to, obviously not going to worry. So, <laughs> and NVIDIA does, doesn't look that weak. <laughs> uh, Airbnb doesn't look that weak. Um, so, um, I don't know. Yeah, at the end of the day, I can't remember what the original question was now uh yeah just to look at the impact of uh gold es and uh dxy on bitcoin mm. i mean obviously we got to be aware of the correlation because you know obviously on the higher term time frames it's a correlation you know but the thing that you have to remember on this is um they're in such massive higher term time frame uptrends i wouldn't be bearish on bitcoin because the es has broken this trend line like maybe if the es starts breaking like Four thousand points then you might be a bit more worried i suppose but this this here is um i'm really i just honestly can say i'm not bearish in the slightest uh you know this this happened as well because of the uh obviously we're not fundamental traders but i still keep up with it like so the, the fomc and the, the basically i think that the um interest rates are increasing quicker than what they thought they were going to increase and uh, people kind of freaked out about it and so they're all selling so basically people are selling because of the, new, the news as well which is kind of funny 
so you, you you apparently have some bad news at the moment you also broke this trend line which is just like you know i don't know uh so you have the things combined together where people are freaking out and so when people freak out i'm not bearish so you know i, I Maybe I'm wrong, you know, I can be wrong on this, but uh, I'm not really bearish, I must admit. Oh, uh, yeah, we might be a bit more worried if we lose 4,000 points. But I'm really not bearish. Uh, we're not even lost the CC, you know. Not even, we're not even... I haven't lost any support. So it's pretty hard to be bearish when we haven't lost any support. In a, in a, in a trend which is like this. Yeah. Pe people have tried to time the top of this trend. Oh, every single drop, apparently, the stock market's in a bubble. Like, it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Like, everybody says all the time, the stock market's in a bubble, it's got a crash, no? Isn't that what you hear all the time? Like, oh, the stock market's got a crash, it's in a bubble. Uh, people have been saying it's been in a bubble now for like five years. <laughs> okay, where, where's the crash from this bubble? <laughs> uh, you know, you make, if it's in a bubble, make money on the bubble. Just keep longing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> if it's in a bubble, I'm happy to be part of the bubble, you know? <laughs> Maybe it's a death cross. <laughs> maybe it gets the death cross mate. it's like I don't it was know, a joke just... not death cross <laughs> yeah but it's just I don't know it's just really funny uh, that the, the way Pete the, the, the emotional side of the market works in this stock market it's like I, I, in my opinion at the end of the day people are making obviously people have been affected by the pandemic bad but you look how much new billionaires there are this pandemic um, businesses are actually doing really well and so where do you think these people are putting their money People are putting it into investments. People are going into stocks. So in, until people stop making loads of money, then I don't think the stock's going to markets go down. And even even in like recessions, like the, I don't know, like for, for me, it's just like you, you got just got to remember, like people are saying it's in a bubble, it's got a crash, but people are still making billions of pounds. And what do these people do? They reinvest. So, of course, it's not all in the S&P 500, but, you know, a good chunk of change is going into the S&P 500 day on day on day on day, like new money going in, because guess what? People are making loads of money right now. Um, and again, we're not talking about your average guy that we're talking about, like big businesses, uh, you know, that are trading billions. So, yeah, I... Uh, Yeah, I'm going off topic, so I'll digress. But, you know, it's just, yeah, I'm not a bearish on this. But, um, and there we go. <laughs> you couldn't make it up. Uh, all the world's top analysts freaking out about the trend line that was broken. Oh, the Dow Jones theory, this is going down. La, 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 la. Well, here we are. Rally back above the trend line. Massive move up today. Uh, big short squeeze. It just goes to show you... Uh, <laughs> Make sure you pay attention to who you listen to, I suppose. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Bye.